Hello, friends. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Friday night. Hi, friends. How you doing? Happy Friday night. So happy to see you. I bet you guys were. <laughs> Where is she? Whew, that was fast. That was a fast run downstairs and throw all this stuff together. So I hope I have everything I need. Hello, hello. Um, I think we're live on both. I think we're good. How are you guys doing? I'm going to type a hello. Hello. If I could spell. How you doing? How was your week? Hi, friends. That was crazy time. So, hi. Yes, because this is my second live today. I went um, live earlier to explain what was going on. And if some of you are wondering where all of the things are, Everything takes like 10 times longer than you uh, plan on uh, the things being. Oh, somebody's here. Let me see. Come closer. Do you like it? It's nice. Do you like it? Yeah. Are you on live? Yeah. Riley just got his hair cut okay. after COVID times, right? So he came to show me. So it looks much better. <laughs> He's been a shaggy dog. So... Uh, he had to come show his mama because that's what my boy does. So hello. Um, what I was trying to say, sorry, I uh, got distracted. It doesn't take much when my kid walks in here. The gel plate class is posted. The All of my stencils were up for a minute, but I hadn't got a chance to put the group of them. There's 10 new stencils, 10, 10 new stencils going up. And then I thought what the deal will be if uh, for some of you want all 10, I'm going to do one for free. So it will be the 10 stencils and you'll get one for free um, if you buy the whole set. But I have to post that. So I just took it down. I put it up as draft and went, okay, um, it's going to require a little bit more time because uh, I have the tray of them here. <laughs> In addition to having to photograph, edit, and put my own stencils up. Remember, I have all of these to add, all of these ones to add. So um, I was talking to Natalie and she said, just post them for tomorrow. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. Because there's no way I worked on it straight from when I had gone live earlier today. And it takes a long time, right? So um, after tonight's live, I'm going to go and finish the other stencils and uh, I will put it up. It will all go live if you want to look at any of the stencils tomorrow, okay? So the class is live, which is an access only online workshop for four weeks with two lessons every week. And it's just kind of, it's gonna be live. It's going to be fun. It's going to be recorded. If you can't make it live, I'm gonna go live twice a week. Plus we have a private Facebook group. And we will do share all of the fun basics and layering and magic with gel plate printmaking, mono printmaking. So it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be very relaxed. And I think you guys will really enjoy it. And I posted it on vickybooten.com. And more info will be coming. There will be a private Facebook group. So uh, we can share our art, ask any questions, and um, just build community of creative, build a creative community like we're always doing. So all that info is coming. It's all posted on there. If you have any questions, let me know. But I'm just excited to be here tonight, right? Um, working tirelessly, I'm telling you, like a crazy woman. It's like a crazy woman. And when people we talk about... Um, People will talk about like, oh, you need to hire somebody, but it requires like, right, having the time to find that person and interview that person and make sure it's somebody you want to work with. So I'm, uh, but I know I'm there. I need it. I need it. We have so much fun stuff in the pipeline that uh, you read. Yes, I think the class is what I have it planned is at 630 Eastern time, the classes will run. So it doesn't matter, hopefully, where you are in the world, that that should, I would hope, be a decent time. And even if you can't watch it live, all of the content will be there. And uh, 
I'll be live popping in and out of the board all the time. So even if you can't watch the actual lessons live, you will be able to uh, still ask questions on our group and they will be YouTube um, live sessions. Okay. Only on YouTube. It won't be on Facebook for the lives, but you know me, I'll probably do impromptu lives um, on our group as well. Cause then maybe if there's something people have questions about or want me to share or um, add to, then I can just add to it on the group, you know, it's going to be four weeks of fun and I'm going to give you all that I've got. So it will be a lot of fun. So any questions about that before we get started? I don't want to do a lot of chitter chatter tonight. Let's just make some art, right? So um, yeah, if you have any questions, I did that really, really quickly. So if there's any typos or errors, I apologize. My husband says, hey, Vicky, hey, husband of Tolly, how are you? So hello from Australia. Hi guys. Once Vicky has finished shipping all her kits, she will decide on the virtual class. Uh, what was that, Natalie? Did I miss a question? So yes, all week I've been shipping. So you might have saw I posted um, a photo of myself with my new earring and behind you saw boxes. So that was the first shipment went off to the US. And then today a bunch went off to Canada Post. I have more to ship, but they will all go out. All of the kits for the classes, which is the, I don't know if I have any of them right around. Oh, I do right here. Right. So, and I still have kits left. If it's something you were interested in and not sure about, it's this summer class, the flip book, and it's going to be fun. Like, look how fun that is. So it is all interactive in the form of a flip book. And it's all using Sunkist from Simple Stories. And there are a bunch of layouts that go with this. It is a um, flip book and layout class. So there's kits still available on vickybooten.com. That's what I'm shipping right now. And then the travel one, which is a mix of kind of travel and every day. It could be like traveling to wherever, right? Day trips or whatever you want to do. And it is all interactive as well. And this is using Simple Stories and Jen Hadfield line in a six by eight binder. So tons of spots for your photos. Look at this one. It is a zigzag flap with a side pocket side pocket and another flap on this side so there are still some of these kits i will be teaching the classes live on each one of these when you go on vickybooten.com and check it out it shows you the date that those classes are live if, if that was the question right um and then we're starting the gel plate class we're doing all the things and then i'm taking two weeks off at the end of august and i don't think i'm going to do anything except for plan the next round. And guess what? Any store owners out there, you probably saw the new catalog for my new release. Sorry, I'm moving this. My new release that comes in September. So I will be sharing that with you at the end of August, but it will be shipping in September and it is beautiful. It is really, really fun. Can we get access only for keeping it real? Uh, lots of people have asked and yes. I just have to post it again, one person, right? Doing all of the things. So yes, I will do access only for keeping it real because I can't get any more of that product, but you still should be able to find it online, right? They're asking for access only for those classes. So um, the only one I will do at this point access only for is keeping it real until my kits are sold. I won't do access only. Um, if you're international and I don't ship to you, if you contact me, we can work something out. But, um, you know, I have to leave it till the kits sell. Um, I won't do access only. So probably eventually, but it might not be for the live class. If I only have a 5 by 7 gel plate, would that pose a problem? I'm having a hard time finding an 8 by 10 Where are you, Carrie? You're Canadian, aren't you? They're on Michael's. They're on Michael's. They're on DeSera. They're on like any of, I think on Amazon, on the art supply stores, you can get them. And um, I would say Michael's with your coupon is what I would do, right? Can you tell us the price for your stencils that you designed? 
I, uh, they're priced at $7.99 Canadian, which when they're cheaper than other six by nine, I tried to put them where it's very reasonable. And that what I'm going to do is because a lot of you guys wanted a deal for um, all 10, you'll get one of them for free. I think that's how I worked it out. But I will do the thing. See, there's some glitter and ink and Belleville carries them. Excellent. Eight by 10. You really want an eight by 10. It is your workhorse for the gel plates. And then if your card maker, five by seven is great. And the smaller sizes, the shapes. And then you would like the 12 by 12 if you are a scrapbooker. But it's not a good one to start with a 12 by 12 because it's too big. And it's a lot of work to get some prints done, right? Did, am I answering the questions? I'm in the U.S. Seems I'm finding every other size. Uh, Dick Blick. Go on Dick Blick as well. But I wouldn't be surprised, Carrie, because I couldn't get them. They were sold out at my wholesaler again. So, uh, but look at Dick Blick because they probably have them. And any of my U.S. friends. Um, but just, I would search it. 8 by 10 gel plate, right? question what time will the stencils be on sale tomorrow well brenda as soon as i get them all posted because it depends how long i am here tonight then to, it's a lot of work because i have to add the images i don't care about descriptions of the stencil just to get them up there so you guys can shop them because when i send them out i'd like to be able to send them all together right and don't forget um your shipping costs uh for the u.s Anything that if the shipping is cheaper, you know, I will make an adjustment. So if that's freaking you out when you put your, because it's all based on the one size box that I use, but no worries. I'm going to find the best way to send them. All right. So if you're only ordering stencils, uh, just go through, check out when I start posting them and shipping them, I will make any adjustments as well. Right. Um, yes, I will do that as well. Michaels has the eight by 10 online and you can use your coupon online as well to buy it. That's what I would recommend. It's a good, it's actually a good price. Um, yeah, you can register for the class whenever you want, right? It will be, um, it's not starting. I forget what date I put on there two weeks from now, I think. So I have time to get stencils in the mail, but even if you don't have the stencils for the first week, it won't matter. It won't matter. Um, you'll be okay, right? Uh, Vicki, I have a 12 by 13. Um, can I use part of it? Sure you could. Sure you could. Why I like the 8 by 10 is for lining up patterns. It's just magical. So I'm just saying, if you can get your hands on an 8 by 10, I would highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. Use what you have for sure. But if you 8 by 10, I highly recommend it. Uh, hi, Robin. How are you on your way home from work and listening? I'm happy to have you here. Gel press and jelly plate. Yes. And then Speedball, I think, does one as well, but it's pricier. Um, the class starts on July 19th. Thank you, Natalie. Seriously. Uh, the gel plate kit does not give access to the class. No. No. Because, again, I price that where it's incredibly reasonable. So no, it is not access. Don't and don't forget, like the class works out to something like eight dollars per lesson. Um, you will get lots of content. So no, it does not, because don't forget, it's still all that time to put in it. And um, so no, it's not. It's separate. Uh, a little late, but I made it. Hello, Ranger has one too. Yes, uh, for Dina Wakely and Diane Reevely, they have uh, gel plates as well. The sizing is a little different. But uh, it's all good. Speedball is not quite the same, so I've heard. And I've never used it, right? I have, a, um, I have the other two. The Jelly Arts and the Gel Press are the ones that I have. Yeah. But yes. Um, and I know uh, the Diane Reevely and the Dina, I think, are Gel Press. I think that's the company they did theirs with. Um, as per above, Joanne's U.S. store sells the gel plates as well, and they're on sale. There you go, friends, right? Um, yes. Okay, I think got to sign up for the gel plate thing by when, whenever you want, whenever you want. It's not, there's no physical kit with it. So if you decided, oh, summer's too busy for me, I want to do it in um, October, you could. It just wouldn't be live. And you wouldn't have the fun of the access of the community group, right? Um, 
I don't see an eight by 10 on Joanne. Yeah, we'll figure it out, Carrie. Um, I'll look when I'm done, just remind me. Okay, uh, gel plate, eight by 10. Buy one, get one 50 at Michael's Canada. So buy two sizes, buy one, get one half price. So it's 25% off. And if you and a friend wanna get them, then buy two eight by tens and split the difference, right? So yes, um, where do I find book paper in a book? Like literally um, go to the dollar store and buy a dictionary. Um, you don't have to have it. I'm just giving you options because you guys, and I think you were one of them, Michelle, that emailed me. What kind of paper do I need? You need any paper, some not vintage books because they're really delicate and it'll um, disintegrate some of the pages when you put it on your uh, gel plate. But um, I would just buy like just a book at um, not a shiny, not glossy. You want just paper book. Uh, music sheets, but it's just kind of an add-on. It's an add-on thing, right? Don't hate me, but I'm a hockey fan and the puck is dropping. I'll rewatch first thing in the morning. I don't hate you. It's okay. I understand it. Understand it's the, what is it? Stanley Cup final, whatever. <laughs> I'm obviously not a sporty person. Um, Vicky, send an old book, please. But you don't want old books on there, um, Nat, because the paper can be very delicate and because the gel plate is sticky uh, it can be a mess but I think um, yeah go to a second hand store that's what I would do Goodwill whatever you have like that and just grab some books and some magazines if you see them because that will be for part two but we're not going to overwhelm you with all of the things this first time that's why when we were talking about um, using uh, alcohol inks and inks I'm just going to stick with acrylic for this first time. One, because if you're brand new to this, I don't want the list of things you have to buy to be astronomical. But you do need paints and you need paints in lots of colors and you need a large tube of a good white paint because if they're too transparent, it won't do the trick. Okay, so um, if you have any other questions, let me know. We can chat. We'll chat on the group. Uh, I have it set up but we won't start adding you just yet because again, just me and Nat doing it. So we'll do the things, but I'll put a lot of, a um, lot more info on the private group and any questions you have, we will answer on there. Okay. Yay. Um, any other questions? I think we're good. So for tonight, what we're doing is we're going to make some flowers. So I'm going to move all this stuff. I just wanted you to know the rest of the stencils are going up, but I think I have like, there's over 20 of them to add. This girl ran out of time, right? Vicki, if I ordered two of something, will you call me up? I was waiting one hour for, I don't know what that is, Lee. Email me, okay? Um, I probably won't have time to go back through and read these questions. Don't message me here on Facebook. Just send me an email to vickybootenkits at gmail.com if you have anything that I missed. Because then it's only one place. One place that I have to find the things. So, yes. And, Don, it's not going to be to your extent of probably um, flower drawing. But I want it to be tonight we're going to paint. It's going to be very loose flower drawing. So I literally was quickly just sketching stuff. So the idea is going to be, we're going to drip paint. We're going to draw some very loose doodled flowers that we're going to then cut out and next week make a card um, and a layout out of them or whatever. If you art journal, whatever you want to do with them, right? So it will be good. It will be good. So we're going to doodle. Um, all painting and drawing of flowers is your style. Yes. Like I, I don't want this. If you're out there thinking, okay, I'm watching tonight, but I'm not doing the things because I don't know how to draw. This is always the most popular thing that I do is this flower doodling and card making. That's the other thing. People seem to love the card making videos. <laughs> Who knew? Vicky's a new card maker, right? So um, we're going to use foundations paper tonight. I'm going to use just because I make you guys buy it. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use texture paste as my paint. 
So it's going to be very watered down. I will use, because people asked to use both sets, I will mix both sets and use them. But you could use Distress Ink, you could use watercolor tonight, you could use art crayons. We are going to loosely paint. I want to do the drip the paint, let it dry, and doodle flowers. So it's almost like in kindergarten when, did you guys do this was my favorite art class, is when the teacher would put music on and you would just doodle all over the page and then you would paint each section a different um, color and then see what, if you could see like secret hidden images in it. So it's almost like that. We're gonna put drips and drops and kisses of paint and then we are going to dry it and we're gonna doodle flowers on it. So you wanna make sure that um, if you're using the texture paste, it's very diluted or you have to make sure you're gonna have to test your pens on it. Cause I grabbed a whole bunch of different black pens. I have a Sharpie in there. I have my Microns. I have, um, this one is, I don't know, probably high tech pilot paint or pen, a precision pen and a paper mate pen. So we have lots of pens to test. I have like some other things like some paint pens, but I don't know if we'll get that advanced tonight because you guys might not have them, right? So look at Carol is always so good. She's saying, make sure you like and thumbs up and do all those things. Thank you. Cause you know, I forget to ask you guys to do those things. Um, Woohoo, foundations paper found at Scrap Chick. I love it. Um, those scribble drawings colored with crayons was my favorite. So you're gonna like tonight, Libby because we're gonna do some just really loose fluid paint and we're going to doodle um, kind of folk artish flowers tonight. So we're going to really do loose scribbly circles and very um, low, yeah, Patty's saying she has a low tech Bic. It'll work, it will work. And then what we'll do is just doodle, 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 doodly doodly do and then cut them out and next week make something with it. So this will, if you're watching after the fact and you're not here live, perfect. You have something to do by the pool or um, it's, it's literally just a little bit more advanced doodling and then we'll make something with it. So I find tonight after a very stressful week, <laughs> this will be very relaxing. So um, it'll be fun. So Debbie's asking, Natalie, when did the stencils go on sale? Uh, Debbie tomorrow I couldn't get them all added in time and then I had to come here and hang out with you guys so um, Natalie gave me permission she said Vicki just get it all done so you can post once and I think that's the best thing because if um, all the Vicki Booten stencils were ready to go and somebody one of you ordered them and then I took them down so you're probably like what happened if you're in the middle of ordering uh, because I want to save myself the work as well, so it's not two orders I have to condense. So I will go, as soon as live's done tonight, I'm gonna sit on this computer and start adding more. So let's say for 12 o'clock Eastern time tomorrow, the store will go live with all the stencils. And again, um, don't get uh, frazzled over the shipping because I will uh, find the cheapest shipping and refund any uh, money if I can save you shipping, depending on what you order. If you didn't, you wanna make sure if I uh, have mediums left, you want, you want this. I'm just telling you, you're gonna want this for the gel plate class. I'm gonna be using all three of the glazes, the iridescent, the silver, and the gold. They are magic on the gel plate. So um, we'll do it. We'll do all the things. Post the bundles first and individuals might not be needed. Um, and that's why I had to take it down. I hadn't even done the bundle yet. So uh, no one live is done. You need to go to bed. <laughs> Probably won't happen, Renee, because for me to say they'll up, be up by noon tomorrow is crazy. But like I always say, they'll be up tomorrow. I say noon, but just keep checking after 12. Okay. Because it's a lot of work. I have to add every single one individually. And there's a lot of behind the scenes things that has to go into the store for um, just how you get them up there. So it'll be after 12, okay? Again, one person. Um, yeah, don't set yourself up for a time crunch. That's why I just dialed it back, Deb. 
is uh, after 12 tomorrow, they'll be up there some point tomorrow, right? Uh, and it's good. And I love it. I love, I love the excitement. So don't feel like, keep asking, man, keep pushing me to do the things. I will do all the things. Tim goes live tomorrow at 9 a.m. Uh, so that's noon my time. What, what, I've missed it all. What is he going live with? Is there another new release? I've missed it. I bet, right? Tim, yes, Tim's doing something. I'll check that out too. So anyway, tonight, let's flip the camera. Let's do some things. I, sorry, it feels, it all feels um, very uh, rushed and crazy, but it's good. It's, it's good and it's exciting and we have lots to look forward to. If you like crafting with me, you're going to be spending a lot of time with me right? So let's flip the camera and let's do the things. Because for some of you guys, you're like, oh, all this talking, I just want to do the making. So let's do the making. Um, let's do the making. Oh my goodness. Chapter three was Sizzix. I love it. I have to check it out because I still have to order. I need to get um, the inks, the new ink pads. I want those, the archival ink. Um, I need to get the stamps and it's Sizzix tomorrow. I love it. Woohoo. Okay. Let's do the things tonight now. So this is relaxed and fun. I hope everybody has a beverage. I have my, um, I'm totally off plan today and I'm having a diet Dr. Pepper because I needed it. Right? Yeah. I don't know. I haven't seen, um, Tim post about that, but I have not been online at all this week, right? It was Canada Day yesterday, so I worked till about two and then uh, took a little bit of a break and went out by the pool before the thunderstorms rolled in and then got back up this morning and got back at it so we could get whatever we could shipped out uh, before the truck left. Canada Post because now we have it all worked out. We know when the truck's going to leave and do all those things. So it was, um, Rich packed him up and took two trips to Canada Post. We got a bunch of stuff out and then all worked. Where do you find the gold glaze? It's, do, is, it's still up on vickybooten.com. Did you hear Tim mention you and your kissing technique on the last stamp release? I didn't. I missed it. I was on there for a bit, but if you've noticed, I've been running around like a chicken with my head cut off lately because uh, it's a lot of work, right? This is all a lot of work, and I have so many exciting things going on. Like I said, warm wishes. I posted that back up because a lot of you guys were very um, concerned because I, oops, I took it off of vickybooten.com. It's back up there. It will be up there for a while. I have lots of kits. So if it's not something that is in your budget right now, but um, does the gel plate class include a gel plate? No. B, it was, I had kits, but they sold out very quickly. And then the wholesaler, um, the gel plates are out of stock until the end of August. So you can go on Michael's. Michael's has a sale right now, buy one, get one half. So um, I would buy two sizes, to be honest with you. And, uh, but it's $60 for eight lessons plus the private Facebook group. So um, it doesn't include the gel plate. And for paper as well, friends, go to your um, like beadies or staples and buy a whole pack of a, a higher quality printer uh, paper. That will be really helpful for this because you're going to be like pulling prints like crazy. You will use them to clean your brayer. So you want a ton of paper. That is the one thing I'm going to tell you guys before we get started. For the gel plate class, you will want a ton of paper. All right. So I think that's everything. So let's get started. So I have a piece of plastic I'm going to use to do some kissing. I have the... Uh, neon set the fluorescent set of texture paste that i'm going to water down and use this because i am trying to 
show you different things you can do with this because I feel like a lot of you bought it because you're excited with the new things and you're super supporters and I want to use it, right? So it gives you um, options. And Natalie is saying to not buy cheap copy. You can buy both too, right? You want better quality just so the paper is a little bit thicker so you can do something with it after. Uh, the other thing is deli paper. If you go on Amazon right now and search deli paper, you can buy it by the box and you want deli paper as well. It has a little bit of a wax coating on it and it is great for printmaking. You want tissue paper, you want all the things, okay? So yay, I'm gonna use this. And somebody asked, but you know what friends, it doesn't matter what colors I'm using. Like some people are very literal. It has to be very literal or they don't um, necessarily get what's going on. Make sure you buy flat deli paper, um, not folded. Yes, I buy the boxes of it. You can buy it in rolls as well. But even if it's it has a fold in it, your artwork will have a fold. But if that's what you bought, we'll still use it, right? But uh, see, so all of the friends are helping you here. Um, the Hammer Mill 32 pound on Amazon is great for jelly prints. And it's what I have. So Mari is telling you, right? So, um, yep, you're, we're going to teach you all the things, right? all of the things and we'll talk about it in the group um probably early next week before we get started so it gives you lots of time so i'm going to grab some foundations paper just because i like the weight of it i like how it will accept my mediums if you're using cardstock tonight or watercolor paper that is absolutely fine as well this paper so thick did you see me keep checking to see if i had one or two sheets so crazy hi tina how are you so I'm going to grab a couple of sheets because we're going to go really loose and fast. <laughs> That's what she said, right? Loose and fast to start and make some paint drips. And then we're going to doodle on them and we're going to cut them out and we're going to have a whole bunch. There's a long roll of rice paper on Amazon too. Buy all the papers, friends. Just buy papers. We can test all of the things, okay? And the one thing I didn't add that you are going to want to look at as well is a matte acrylic gel. You can use mine or you can use golden. It is the one thing we'll talk about later on in the class, but... Um, what would you search on Amazon for deli paper? Uh, deli paper. Deli paper is what I search and you see it right there. And um, the deli paper wasn't $55 on my Amazon. I found a box of it for I think 19, right? And it just pulls right out. Um, you can buy it by the roll as well. And you don't have to have it, friends. You don't have to have it. It's totally your choice, right? So the paint has to be textured paste, not acrylic paint. What are you asking for, Audrey, for tonight? For the paint has to be texture paste, not acrylic paint. You can use acrylic as well. You can use watercolor. You can use distress inks. You can use whatever you want tonight. We're just going to drip some paint on, and then I'm going to draw on top of it when it's dry. Okay. Uh, the list of papers is already posted on the description of the class. Okay, and then I will post it in the group as well when we start letting you guys in. But like I said, one person and poor Natalie. One person and poor Natalie. Me and Natalie. So she is waiting for all of the information. But like always, it's a lot of things for this Vicky to do. So it's coming, but it is all up on um, vickybooten.com uh, when you check the description of the class. There's lots of info there. My mother was quite impressed. Is that Amazon Canada? It was. I did um, on Amazon Canada, right? But I will share that stuff. And you can use a deli paper with a fold if you cut it up. You can use whatever you want, right, friends? So let's start doing this now. So I am going to start with the watermelon uh, sour. Like I said, watch what I'm doing. And it doesn't matter what you're using. If you don't have my texture paste, it doesn't matter. Okay. 
So I'm going to put a little bit on here. And you really want to dilute this, okay? Because you don't want it to be too thick. Because it'll be hard to draw on. So we can do a series of things. We could take this, water it down. And just drip it on. Oh, this is so vibrant. I love it. So maybe I'm going to do that. I'll have that little pool. So, and we can let this speak to us, like how we will sketch the flower, right? Let's kiss one. Maybe put a couple daps in. Daps. Daps. This pink is so vibrant, it almost blinds you. Oops, I'm spraying it all over my new top. I'm going to clean that up a little bit and we'll pick another color. I'm going to put some pink and some yellow on there and make another color. So how was your week? And all my American friends, are you getting ready for your holiday? Does anybody have any big plans? So I'm going to put a little bit more of that on. And I'm going to go in with the um, lemon sour. Yeah, get an apron. I'd have to find it wherever it is. I'd have to find wherever I put it. But remember, I ran down here like a crazy woman. Because um, I literally was talking to Natalie, working the stuff out. And we looked and I said, oh my goodness, Nat, um, it's quarter to seven or quarter to eight. And I ran upstairs, put my face on so I didn't scare any of you and then got down here. And I'm sure some of you are like, where's Vicky? She is. And I'm going to just tap into my color. Right? Just go all over. Make a whole bunch of patterns. No big plans. I love that. Yep. They are fun, aren't they? The texture piece. And leave some of these just dots like that because they can be long stem flowers as well, right? You got your second shot. Your fridge died and my dryer did too. Oh my goodness. That's a lot, isn't it? That's a lot to deal with. Sorry about that, Karen. That is no fun at all. So I'm just going in here, rando friends, and just putting some patterns down that we can go and draw on. I love this color. Yeah, that was the pink and the yellow together, right? So I'll move it around. We're going to dry it and then we'll do some things. So I will put some more on here. Hello, Eden. How are you, my little friend or big friend? I don't know how you old you are, Eden. Uh, love the tropical orange color. Are they runny or thick? And you dilute a lot. I dilute a lot, Renee. They are texture paste. So look at the consistency, right? Like it's very heavy body texture paste but they're water soluble. So we don't want them to be a texture to draw the flowers because um, we'd have to have a, a paint pen and not everybody will have that. So that's why I'm going in very diluted. So they're going to be more opaque than a watercolor, but uh, will work really well for that. She's eight, very nice. You're celebrating your 50th birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, Jennifer. Um, I'm missing stuff, right? So sorry if I miss something exciting. Something exciting is going on for Wendy, but I don't know what it is. Hi, honey. Oh, my goodness. Rich got hit. You went, like, bold. Bold. I made some changes to it. I'm good now. Did you just go up and cut it? Yeah. Why? What did she do that you needed to adjust? Yeah, some adjustment. All good now. Rich is now a hairdresser. 
too. He went and cut his own hair. <laughs> ding a ling -a. So I'm going to put some purple. Let's go with some purple and the pink. Matt's feature is ready to start. Where is he? Before you go, Marlene, Rich wants to know because I don't think he knew about that. Is he at Ransomville? Is that not on line anymore? Oh, okay. Rich didn't buy that one. So you'll have to let me know how he's doing, Marlene. So talented, that Rich. Yep. He's something else, cutting his own hair. <gasps> Wait till you see this color with the pink and purple. Oh, look at that, friends. I'm digging that. Look at so I'm just going in because I'm making flowers with just flower colors, okay? If you want blue flowers, you can do whatever you want. But let's just loosely start painting and see where it goes. I'm going to tap into it. We can kiss into that. I like that. Maybe make another one over here because we can always go in and add another color to it as well. Tap around in that, maybe even mist in it. Ooh, I like that. See what happened? <gasps> Look at that. And then it just kind of wicking out. I like it. And you can tap a couple purple dots into your pink. Whatever you want to do, right? No rules. Just have fun with it. So I'm going to move this one aside, let it dry a little bit, and then if I want to add more color to it, I can. So just keep in mind as you're messing around what colors work well together and what will make mud. But you could have earthier flowers if that was your jam. No judgment here, right? Go with what, oop, look what I just did. It is very wet, so make sure you put it somewhere flat. And I don't have a lot of real estate on my desk because that has been my life lately. Just a lot, a lot of work. A lot, a lot of working. So I'm just adding the purple that was left on my brush on here. So another thing we can do is clean up the edges. I love that you guys have all of your um, conversations, like sidebar conversations. I love that. I love the community that's here. So see what I'm doing? Controlling so I can kiss this, but kind of making my shape and kissing it to my page. I'm going to let it sit there for a second. Pull that around, messing with that so it's not just like a little blob of color. Not like that. I'm going to do a couple of those. Okay. So now on this page, I am going to try to do little contained circles of color. Let's do some orange. Let's do some orange. So these were the new uh, paint brushes I added on my website, right? A lot of you guys ordered them and I will bring them back in again because the one thing I'm always asked is where can I get paint brushes? Um, and I like them. They're definitely doing the trick and they're very inexpensive. So that's kind of nice. So see what I'm going to do here. Like this keeping it in a circle. I'm painting a circle. And now I'm going to kiss that. Flip it and kiss it. Now that orange, if you find, it is not as opaque when it is watered down. But it is very neon and pretty. And there's no reason you can't just kind of tap in and paint some of your color in there. Okay. Now we might want to do some daisy-ish flowers as well. So we can paint 
right on the background. You know what, Karen? But do you kiss it like it's the rock? Or do you kiss it like it's your frail grandma? Because I'd have to say with a kissing technique, that's super important. It's super important to only tap it and then let it kind of saturate into the paper and kind of mess with it. But if you are like getting right in there and squishing it down on your page, it could create some problems, right? That um, it's harder to control. So I'm going to take my paintbrush now and let's imagine that it is for a flower that has some petals that go like this. So let's just loosely paint. Take your paintbrush and just kind of pull. Oh, I like that. Just kind of pull from the center. You can pull in. And let's just loosely do. Not everything kind of in a circle form, right? You're probably too aggressive. It just, you know, because I do teach this in person as well. And I'd have to say when people have some issues, a lot of times it is um, probably they're a little forceful with their um, painting. I'm going to take some pink. How are you guys doing? Is anyone doing this with me? Are you painting your backgrounds? Is anyone just kind of watching? Well, I know some of you are watching the hockey. I'm going to float some pink into my yellow. Ooh, oh, oh, I love it. Just have fun with it, friends, right? That's kind of fun, right? Now I'm just, because I have the pink here, let's do something. So we don't, we can paint on here too. So let's just do something that's, kind of like a center and then I'll take my yellow and I'm going to mix it with some pink to make a new color and then I can just feed some petally things off of it. So just kind of make some loose circly jobbies like this. We could always come back in too, and you, you could draw and then paint into your flowers as well. So you don't have to put the color down and then put your pigment on top or your marker on top. You could do them um, after, like paint it after. But I like that, it's fun. So I'm gonna make kind of a palette here and I'm gonna paint some stuff. So let's put some yellow on here. Nope, watching you and working, flipping back and forth. I'm washing dish, dishes and making dinner. No crafting yet for me. It's 3 a.m. in South Africa. You're not sleeping. Well, hopefully this is giving you some ideas for later. Learning by watching you and try doing my own tomorrow. That's a great thing, Kathy. But I really want you, you'll find that... Um, this is one of those things when people actually do it and play with it, they really enjoy it. So hopefully you'll get a chance to play along. So I'm going to do like a dome like this, kind of loose. Leave some white space too, right? And then we can just do like as if there were petals coming down from it. Just very loose, friends. Just kind of like that, right? Loose. And let's take some of that. We can go into not all neon, right? Put down the Dawn Dawn while she, oh, putting, washing dishes. I love it. They want you to take some time to get crafty. So I'm gonna put some yellow from the original. Texture paste. Oh, and that's kind of blending nice with that. Loose, just loose, just doodle. Let's put some more yellow on here. I'm just going to go in and just drop some yellow, whatever. Just kind of on there. 
very loose. You can put some drips in it, circle, whatever you want. If you want all your flowers to just be circles, go for it. I'm going to watch this. I'm going to take this, what's left on this page too. And I'm just going to kiss it up here. All crazy like. Because who cares, right? Let's just do it. And we can just come back and doodle some flowers on it and see what we get. And I can always feed into that later. I want some pink and yellow in with my purple. Love it. I need to put something else here though, because that's kind of a hot mess. Look at those colors all. Ooh, let's see what color we're going to make. Just mix it all. A little pink. Let's see what happens when I put some blue in with my pink and make a new shade of purple. Morning from Perth. Hello. Just had five days lockdown. Not soft entry for 10 days. It's craziness. Do you have like a new variant or something? Like what's going on? Uh, we just are coming out of lockdown and now my kids are just hoping the gym will open. That is our the big thing right in this house is they would like to go back to the gym one day. Um, let's put some drips on there. Uh, I don't know what I'm missing things here. So I'm just going to kiss into this a little or tap into it a little bit. And then we'll figure it out. I'll move this out. We're going to have to dry all of this mess too. And then I'll probably have to grab another sheet to do leaves. Hi, Debbie. How are you? Uh, what is that? Uh, came out of lockdown on the 30th. Due to the Delta variant. And I hear it's very scary, right? <laughs> the lockdown kept Patty from the gym. Yeah, I hear you, sister. Yeah, my kids are. I'm going to leave that on there. Let's like let that just sit there and soak into the paper and see what we get. And you, we definitely could do um, stenciling. You could throw some stencils on here and use that as a background of your flower, right? It'd be very fun. Um, only 12 sheets of foundations in a pad. What was that? I thought I'd be set for a few Friday nights, but not so much luck. Not, I know, but you don't have to use foundations. Use white cardstock. Buy, like I've been seeing a lot of people saying the cardstock was on sale. The white cardstock was on sale at, um, on Amazon or something. Oh, look, that's fun. But I'm going to mist into that so the bubbles aren't in there. Okay, just break that up. And let's go in. What other color flowers do we want in here? So I have some pinks and some oranges and some yellow. I'm going to go in with a little bit more. I'm going to go in and make orange out of the red and the yellow because the neon orange, we lost a lot of the color value in that because it is fluorescent. Yeah, our haircuts, um, hair salons just opened, obviously. You just heard me say both uh, Rich and um, Riley just got back from getting their hair cut. Uh, yes, it's just, it's just crazy times with this COVID. And then I just saw one of my friends posting about um, in Utah, where they're saying, you know, you really need to, that they're having a lot of cases again, because I don't think everybody's getting vaccinated because people are nervous about the vaccine, getting vaccinated, but um, you're having new variants come around, right? So, um, and then lots of discussion about that, that I won't get into because everybody has their beliefs on what they should do. I got vaccinated. Um, I just want to leave the house. So whatever is going to do for the good of all. 
just give me the shot and let's try to get these people working again and their businesses open. But I know that they, she was saying that they're having like huge, like 1100 cases a day or something. So scariness. And I'm like, no, not again. Quick, we got to get on the other side of this, right? You get your shot number two tomorrow. Very exciting. So this yellow is a little earthier than I would normally do, but it's good. We'll do this anyway. It will be pretty. And we're going to doodle doodly do. And then I'm going to leave some open spaces so I can doodle and then come back and paint if I want to. I made some ketchup and mustard. And now it looks like a cheese slice. What the heck? Right? So I'm going to just throw down a loose circle because I have too much paint on here to do much with it. But let's see if I can drip some in there too. Oh, yeah, I can. And some little drips. Just do that. And use that. I love it with some more red tap it in there yes I'm trying to find when we talk about aprons I would like to do um, some aprons with I have a new um, logo design that I want to make into stickers and do all the things. But again, this is why I need some help because I can't do all the things. I'm painting all over my shirt. Hi, Kathy, how are you? I think that's where the scary part is with the COVID, right? Is that, um, is this Delta variant and there's the whole thing is like, even I think your people are just going to get to the point where I don't think they're going to have a choice. They'll just have to get the vaccine and we'll have to hope for the best. But like you look at the two things, right? And I look at like, I don't know, your option is never leaving the house again or I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. But I was happy to get out. I had to go, um, went to the dentist this week. So my teeth are nice and clean and um, mailed packages. I love this with that. Look at, let's do, um, I'm not going to put any more paint down right now. I'm going to put my lids on. I'm going to dry these. We're going to start doodling and then we can always paint more, right? Oh no, you have no hospital beds available in the province. Do you have like huge numbers again? I thought we were on the other side of this, right? Life, if we don't get going soon, the whole world is going to, <laughs> yeah. It is, right? Back for a bit. Hello, Glenda. Yes. Yes, it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot. Hello, Stacy. How are you? You went to the dentist the first time after COVID? Chocolate eating during COVID. Just make sure you rinse, 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 Jen, and floss your teeth. I always tell everyone, floss the ones you want to keep. Um, but I'm not surprised by that, right? I'm sure that uh, you'll see lots of that stuff with the stress and everything else that we're dealing with. Here, we're going to have a lot of health-related garbage going on. Hi, Sherry. You got both your shots and just a sore arm. That's good news. I'm glad. I've heard lots of different. Some people with headaches. Some people with the chills. I have to go and get my second one. I have to get Rich working on that, calling around to all the pharmacies so we can book it. So um, dental hygienist here. Hello, Joyce. Yep, Devin's uniform uh, just came in the mail and her lab coats and the ugliest white shoes ever. 
when I went to school um, for dental, we just had to wear plain white runners. We could wear running shoes. So she had to get those like German, I think they're German, um, the German uh, white shoes that are like clogs. And she is not happy because they make her very tall. And my daughter does not like, um, so anything new on the cruising crop, I have to fill the forms out. It's with the um, shipping of stuff. I, it's all me. It is not cruise and crop and cruise. It's all Vicky Booten. The forms are actually on the other side of the desk. So I just have to fill up my forms in so they can post it on their website. I will get on that. Dance, yes, dance co. She was not impressed with those shoes. I'm sure they're going to be very comfortable, but my 17 year old daughter was not impressed with those shoes and they are required. She did not have a choice. She had to wear them, yes. So not impressed with the dance go. And they are quite um, high, right? Very comfortable though. Yes, my 10 daughter wears them in the hospital. Yeah, she's tall. Yeah. Um, I'm, but Stacy, it's coming. It's, I promise it's coming. I just have to fill those. So I'll put that on my list of what I have to do uh, this weekend. You want to do that cruise. And there will be two of them. I just have to send the information in. Because the one out of England, uh, I will, I need to ship everybody their kits. Because there's no way I'm going to be able to get all of that stuff in uh, with all of the stuff now, right? Since um, with the new tax laws and that. So I will just ship everybody their kits and they can bring them with them. So I just need to work the details out. It is on my list. It's on my list with all of the other things. Oh my good. They're, they're, oh, you don't think they're comfortable? Can she do nurse mates? They have similar, but more comfy. I'm sure we can. Um, she could return them if these aren't the right ones. I don't know. So I just went with those ones and it's not like they were cheap for me to buy her uniforms, her lab coat and her shoes were $700. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? So um, I'm just taking the extra moisture out. Do you see what's happening, friends? So I don't have to wait forever to dry them. So just taking those pools of paint with a clean side of my paper towel. Oh, I love this. It's very, very fluorescent. And I'm not too worried about the paper buckling could I can pull out if you want me to I might pull out my um my mink so I could flatten this but if you are at home and your paper is buckled you just need to put it underneath something heavy look how pretty um so that you can draw on it because that would be the biggest thing right I find a new spot on my paper towel so I don't deposit color I just want to lift the pooled paint but I don't want to deposit textured color from my paper towel. Let's see, very pretty, very awesome. So this um, texture paste will work as a texture paste or it will work as a diluted, almost gouache like because it is not completely transparent. There is a chalkiness to it. Am I missing comments? Hi, Pamela Guppy. How are you? Uh, the paste are thick because they're texture paste. Right, Kristen? They're texture paste. So it's like using an acrylic paint. Um, right? So you want to put very little paint and lots of water. But yes, they are going to be a little on the heavier side and chalky side because it's a texture paste we're diluting to make it in to uh, like a watercolor.
and then we can go in. If the painting first freaks you out, I'll give you options that we can doodle. But yeah, I wish the foundations paper, like Jennifer was saying, that it's 12 sheets. I'd love if it came in like a 48 pack. And even a lot of you guys will go on and you'll order um, a pad. And I'm always like, you're paying the shipping and it's heavy. It's worthwhile when you place your orders to throw um, wood pigment powders work. They will, but don't forget the pigment powder, the difference with them, Karen, is uh, they remain chalky when they're dry. Those pigment powders do not have a binder in them. So it will gum up your pens if you're using like a wet marker. Okay. If you're using a wet marker, how can I buy these paints? Uh, they're on vickyboot.com. They're on scrapbook.com. I will put a list to um, a list for you to find them, but they are, I'll show you what the package looks like when you're looking. I will show you what the package looks like. Ooh, ouch, I just stubbed my toe. That's what it looks like when you buy the set. Comes with a palette knife. Hello, Shelly. Not um, just joining now. Was there any info about the gel plate workshop? Is there a kit included? There is not a kit included. I put the kits up last week. They sold out very, very quickly. But uh, you can still, all you need is a brayer which you can find um, very easily. And uh, the gel plates are on sale at Michael's, which you can order online and paper because the um, starter kit, which I ordered not a ton of because I wasn't sure how many I needed. And then the gel plate is now out of stock. So I can't even order more to make it easy for you guys. Um, like everything, I go kind of by what people say, like how many are interested and I should order double of everything because um, it's, is that your brand of texture paste? Yes. Um, yes. This was the original one D this is the new one is the neon. This was the original, the OG of the texture paste. An eight by 10 is the gel plate size I'll be using. So yes, it is the older set this one up here um, and this is the newer set but you do not have to use these I'm only using them because a lot of people have bought them and then they're not sure what to do with it so I'm just trying to give you an option okay but you could use acrylic paint that you dilute you could definitely use inks they're just going to be a little bit more transparent or translucent and then this will be a little has a little bit more opacity You could make your own gel plate, but you have to watch because you have to keep it refrigerated and all the rest of it. So really, you could do that if you really would like to, but I would really recommend buying the gel plate, right? Um, and it is because the base, the gel plate is actually, um, I just lost my train of thought is made from because you use baby oil to condition your plate so it isn't it, even though it is called a gel gel plate it's not really gelatin um so uh yeah so you can make one but i'd really recommend if you can yeah in a pinch if you can't find one for sure jen um for the brayer i would go on amazon really you can find tons of them right um it is petroleum based. So there is the, you can make it, um, but you just have to watch. You have to be careful, but yes, Curry's has them for the Canadians. I saw them on, I think, Desera, Desera's, Desera's, um, and Michael's with the coupon, right? So there are options. Okay, friends, I feel like I'm going to put paper towel on and make sure it's dry. So I'm not um, transferring any water. We're going to have a lot of fun with it, though. I have to say, if you are on the fence with that, it is, look at that orange is earthy, earthier orange, right? Um, it is a lot of fun. 
I thought of you, Vicki, when I was painting the palette. I used a paper towel to wipe colors. I didn't like runs and heard you in my head while I was painting. I love it. That sounds like a lot of fun, right? Yay. Okay. So um, let's just do the things now, friends. So we can go pretty loose. You can use uh, the pattern. I'm going to also take a sheet and just do. So before I draw on here, let me grab a sheet and just show you. Just show you some. Because I will probably go in and do some in um, with Distress Ink and Paint as well. Uh, I'll just, anything that you can use that's pigment, right? Oh, for, um, you made the gel plate and the dog ate it? Oh my goodness. That would be an expensive vet, vet visit. That was a mouthful, vet visit. So when we go in here, I'm going to, I love my Micron pens. So it's a um, 05. So it is pretty fine. They dry out. Some of them you have to watch because they'll say waterproof, but test it if you're going to add color after. So your, um, uh, your uh, water doesn't make all of the ink bleed. Right, um, I have a blue micron. Like I said, there's a paper mate flare. I have, let's test all of them. We'll just draw Sharpie, but it's pretty thick. So you will get a lot heavier lines. I'm gonna go in with my micron to start. And I'm going to draw some different flowers on here that I can paint after. And then I will draw some on my other sheet uh, onto the paint, okay? Using heavy body acrylic, working okay, hoping I can rescue this. Uh, just lots of water, right? So not water-based Tombow, you'd be fine with a water-based Tombow, Jennifer, if you're, you're drawing on your painted background because you're not gonna add water on top of it. It's only if you're gonna add water onto it, right? Do you know what I mean? Like for these ones that I'm going to paint after the fact, my, I would have to make sure that it is not water soluble. If you are drawing on top, test it to make sure that it will work on top of your paint. What kind of pens? So can you see that? This is from Michael's, but I've used this since my art days when I went to school for art is my Micron. I love these pens. I buy them all the time. I'll usually just grab one when I'm in Michael's and throw it in if I have nothing else to buy with my coupon or they're on sale. Um, and then they, it's archival ink. This is when we were in school. We, we had to use these when we did drafting and everything. This is what we used. So I just love them. The Micron Sharpie and you can get Sharpie like this is just, this is called a fine point, but you can get them right. That are much finer than this. Um, I have art like paint pens but we don't have to get into, we'll get into this another time, but I like the metallic one. Uh, I have, this is literally just a pilot high tech and we'll test it with some water and it's very fine. There is a paper mate flare. I have American crafts precision pen. So I will draw with all of these and we'll see what happens, right? Um, can we see you draw a little closer if you can? I sure. I'm going to move the camera down. Okay. So sorry. You guys see my big sausage arms, but is this helpful? Is that better? I'm hoping, right? Copic liner. Sure. Try anything that you have. Try it and just test it. Right. Uh, glycerin makes them vomit. My carpet wasn't happy either. Oh, geez. That is some scariness. So let's go. And now let's just draw some pretty loose flowers. All right. So I'm going to go with my micron to start. We'll do some different ones because not all of them are necessarily black. Some look a little bit more blue and I'm going to do very doodly doodly art. Hello, Mabel. How are you? Is that good? I hope it's close enough. So I'm going to start in the corner and work down. So I'm not dragging my hand through it. 
Does that make sense? You can always turn your paper as well. Just fill your whole space. Fill your whole space. And I'm going to start with this. So I'm going to kind of just kind of go loose and we're going to go doodly doodly, right? Because I feel like if you go kind of with a loose pedal like this, you don't have to feel like it needs to be perfect, right? So I'm going to kind of do a four petal flower like this. It's a four petal kind of side view of a flower. See, doodly doodly. Let's start with that. We can come back and add details. We can go in and thicken up the lines. But look it. I feel like anybody can do this. And don't be scared. It's a piece of paper in your time, right? A piece of paper in your time. Do the things. Um, so there's a version. Let's So let's pretend this is kind of a side view of that flower. Let's do another one of these. And you can use, if you have, I don't have a sharpened pencil, so... Maybe this one. I think this is a pencil. So another thing. So we could do this as a um, an eight in, uh, eight petal flower. Another one like this. And another thing we could do, right, is you could take your pencil and erase it later, and then just draw some lines. So this can kind of be your petal plan. So I'm going to do this as my petal plan and I'm going to go and do some loose petals. Again, you can do your center, whatever you want for your center, right? And don't even worry too much if you draw into it. We're, we're okay. We're just kind of going in with the art, right? So let's just do where we go around those lines that I just drew to do our kind of loose flower. And then I'm still going to go in with my doodly do. So they kind of all have that same vibe. Okay. Don't worry if your lines are going into the middle. It's okay. Just kind of loose, right? It works. We can paint on it. It's good good just keep moving keep moving use the ones that you want use the ones that you don't use the other ones right so for something like this you can also come in and do something so it looks like a side view of the flower right so it looks like the stem is kind of coming up here or what would this be from our science days i don't like this one but let's make it a three one then so Vicky can kind of fix that craziness that I just did. But when I throw paint on it, um, I can make it look better. It's all good. You can do a swirly rose. So just work in like a circle like this. And then you can do like the side of a rose, right? You can do, let's do another one of those. So I'm going to do like tight and swirl out on my little swirly rose and then I can come in like this and do some petals, deepen up my swirl, draw a line so it looks like those petals are going down in there. right that will work you can have a little base go on the bottom of this kind of fake rose for these ones if you want stems sure throw a stem on it right why not and you could even get in here for something like this and you could make like a petal come off of it too if you want like that right? Sure. When we add some paint on here, it won't matter. These can be pistol. Thank you. I couldn't remember. Um, just 
let's just draw some things. Let's just make the things and see what we get. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to do some, maybe some little circles for the center of my flower. And these are very loose, just doodly, because don't forget when I'm drawn like in front of people here, this isn't the same as maybe if I was going to sit and plan what I was drawing. So sometimes like there's a little bit of pressure, right? So I'm going to come in and just draw like a flower from the center like this. Maybe a petal out here. And then I'm going to come in and draw where it looks like the second row of petals is coming in here. And then I will show you when I come in and I do a little bit more doodly do, because I think it just makes the flower look a little less crappy, right? If you just come in here and make where it's not as perfect, I think it just gives you the freedom to kind of work with um, maybe what you didn't like the first time around. And when we cut these out and make them into painted flowers, I think these are going to be fun. And watch the scales because all of these are giganto flowers, right? Um, I'll just go in and I can make some different things. What other plans did I? Oh, this was a fun one too. So we can do something too that looks a little tighter. Right? And this one wasn't as faily in the drawing. And like I said, I'm sure you guys, if you take your time when you're doing it, you're going to have some prettier flowers than maybe I'm getting. But you get what I'm saying, right? And you're going to see when we take these and do stuff with it, it's going to be very fun. So I'm going to draw a couple more smaller. I'm going to do this one again. Remember how I went like this and drew lines so I can kind of plan the petals. And I'll take my time with this so I don't look like um, I don't know how to draw. And I'm going to come in here and I just change the shapes of my petals a little bit. And then I'll do the doodly do. I just find that it makes it a little easier when you aren't trying for perfection. And like I could sit down and get very sketchy and make perfect flowers. I don't know if I would do that in a live. I think that because we'd be sitting here for a long time if I was putting um, that much thought in. But we can certainly then go in and add some details in the center of the, or in the petals. I'll switch up my pens in a minute too. But you'll find that sometimes when the plan is down here, it makes the painting a little easier as well. We can get in here and paint. But do it, do it, Kari. Is, is Kari who said this is out of her comfort zone or was it Karen? I looked quickly, so I apologize if I'm just literally do what let's go with a simple, simple, simple flower. So if this is the first time you're watching this, just go in and do like, like a loose circle like this. Just go in and do like a loose circle. There's no reason that can't be a flower. So maybe add, like, look at it. It's like a little cabbage rose, right? 
and then go and do the loose doodly do's again. If your whole thing is just that, it will work. And maybe put some little dots in the middle of it, right? That can be a flower. There's no reason. There's Nobody is the boss of you, right? That can be a flower. And maybe I'll do another one, smaller one. So I could have, when we build our bouquet, I could have three of my like loose little doodly do flowers. And then I'm going in and just adding another layer on top. Like th this can be a flower. When I put color on it, why can't that be a flower? So do that. If this is the warm up you need to start, and I'm going to do another one. Loose doodly 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 do, doodly do, right? And now I'll come in here and just do another layer inside of that. And you can just deepen up the center, deepen up the center. And there's no reason that can't be a flower, right? Nobody is the bossier flower and nobody's going to judge them. And here's what happens. Every time we do this, people are like, oh, I can't draw. I don't like it. And then they come out and they're like, oh, my goodness, I love the flowers I just drew. And I'm like, I know. I know you have it in you. So I'm going to do my half cup again, okay, the base of here. And then I'm going to do another loose, like, flower. And this can be, like, look at where it's just continuous line drawing. Let's do a couple of continuous line drawing. So that means your pen does not lift off the page. You ready? Let's do another one. Let's do our half cup, continuous line drawing. Don't lift your pen off. Oh my goodness, look how fun. We can go and add our doodly doos, but that's a continuous line drawing. Let's do another one. Let's do one where we'll start with petals in the middle. Petals in the middle. Petals beside. Continuous line drawing. Don't lift your pen. And then we can come back in here and you can add your doodly doos. Continuous line drawing is fun. We could do faces. We can get into so many things that I feel like you guys... Um, right? I got you in the group. You're here. You're having fun. You never thought you were going to be here because you hated mixed media and doing the things. And now you're like, look at Vicky talked me into the things I'm doing the things I never thought I would be doing. And I really feel like there are zero limitations to what you can create. Hi, Robin. How are you, my friend? Practicing is half the fun. Just make a whole page of flowers. Just do it. You know, we've drawn it where it's a whole background, but the whole idea for this one is going to be that we're going to cut them out. We'll cut them out. So let's make one that's like a circle like this. And then just loopy loops all outside of it. And I'm going like really loose. I am not trying. I just want it to be kind of like messy flowers. Why can't we? Right? Like I said, could I sit and draw it to look very realistic? Sure, I could. But I don't know if I could get you guys to do that with me. Do you know what I mean? That might scare you away, and I don't want to do that tonight. I want you to just try. And this is just very relaxing. Very loopy loopy like the sun. Oops, I dragged my hand across. Careful that, okay? Um, but it won't ruin anything because we're still going to add color on this. So, and I'm going to go in here now and I'm going to draw some lines on these petals. Maybe not every petal. You don't have to. But look, that can be fun. Um, my micron is not in great shape, just so you know. It's a little dry. I know I'm going to have to go over to Michael's and buy myself some new pens. Right? And then in the center, we could have just some circles. And you don't have to put the circles everywhere. It could just be even on part of the flower. I like that. I'm going to kind of leave it like that. I love that. Very fun. 
Okay. I'm going to do another one smaller of that over here. So a circle. Can you guys see? And I'll hold them up. Okay. Cause you're probably like, I'd really love to see what she's doing. Maybe she'll show me. I will. So I'm going to go loosely outside with some petals. Oh, I like this one. This is turning out fun. And now our doodly do. And like I said, you could be very deliberate with how you're drawing these. I'm going just kind of crazy. They're kind of a hot mess and I'm all right with that. But you could be very deliberate with your drawing. See friends? Doodly do. Right? We didn't lift the pen off with that one. They're very fun. I can't wait when you guys share what you're creating. I'm sure you're going to have lots of really pretty flowers. Just make sure, like I said before, that you uh, change your scale, your shape. So when we go to make our layout with these and our card, that you can layer them, right? That we can make a bouquet or whatever we're going to do. But in essence, we are making our own ephemera. When we're done, we're making our own flower ephemera. Uh, this, these ones are my favorite so far right? These ones are my favorite so far. I have my planner and a pencil and I'm doodling all over blank pages. I love it, right? I love it. One flower looks like a dog paw. Which one looked like the dog paw? I don't know. I don't see it. Isn't that funny? I'm like, I don't see that. Is it this one? When I need like another one on there? Could be that one though. So fun, right? So I warmed up. I'm going to go in now and see what I can draw on here. You ready? So now I'm going to let the art determine. So let's see what different pens we have. Maybe one of these will be juicier. What does this one look like? Let's test it. I like it. So this is a Paper Mate Flare. And it's more like a, see the end of that? So I'm going to try it. I'm going to go on here. I see this is a long stem. So see what I'm going to do? It's going to be like this stem of berries. So now let's connect this to make it look like a stock of some sort. Okay. And we could make them, let's, I'm going to get and make this kind of like a flower. This don't have to look like any kind of real flower either, right? They are flowers from our imagination. Draw in pencil too if you're not super comfortable with the idea of going in with a marker. There is um, no rules here. Oh, I like this, friends. Look how cute. And on these neon colors, it really is kind of fun. Doodly do, right? What do you think? That was drips. That was a drip flower. You got some wonky flowers. I love it, right? Looks like a hollyhock. Yes. 
or whatever version of that you want it to be. So just go in now, like this is going to be a couple of flowers in here. So I'm going to go in and make this like a couple of flowers that I can cut out after. This pen is really, I'm digging it though, I have to say. So I'm going to make that a flower. I can't really do much there because I'm going to draw on that. But we can make more of these, right? So let's go with like this. And then I'm making like petals that I can cut out after. And we can do stripes in them if we want. Some lines. And if it gets uncomfortable, just turn your page, right? So let's do some little centers. Okay. So I'll do a couple of those in the pink, maybe one up here in the orange, right? I'm just using that as my center. And then I'm going in and doing loose petals around like this. I could always come back in and add more paint if I feel like it needs it. And then our three little circles. Okay. So that's one I've done now a lot that style. I'm going to do something in those painted centers though. I'm going to do like a star in the middle of it like that. Cause I feel like it needed, like something was missing there. Whatever works for you. If you don't like it, don't. Cause sometimes I do things and then go, mm, I don't like that so much, but. I love it. So let's go in and what other style of flowers could I do? Remember our loose um, where we didn't lift? Like I see here, this is going to be kind of the base of my flower and I'm going to do that loose petal. Right. We could go, you could go in and add any kind of details with these. You could put some, um, do you not have this? Have I not sent this to you yet, Natalie? Um, I have to make sure I do that because I have not, I apologize. I don't think I sent it, did I, to any of you guys? I apologize. I need to do that. I'm going to do that kind of rose buddy thing. Right, that kind of twirly rose. And then we'll come out with a petal that comes off the side. You, this uh, marker is harder to do doodly do with. It's not as forgiving because it's a little heavier. But that'll work for me. I'm gonna do one there. I'm gonna do a smaller one. Here. And then it just kind of looks like a rolled paper rose. And then we'll do like a base on it. And then we'll do something with these, but see, they'll be fun. What else could we do in here? Um, let's do something. I see just kind of a shape in here.
And then don't forget, we have to cut these out after, right? So I'm just doodling, 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 doodling. And then we can cut them out after. Not sure what planet my flowers are from, but they're going to be beautiful, Jennifer. And don't forget, when you cut them out, it is going to be um, awesome. That's where the magic comes when these get cut out. It really is. Um, let's do something with this, kind of like this. But see where if you get in loose with your drawing, then I find it is more forgiving. But when they're cut out, it's going to be amazing. So just keep drawn, keep making them, and then we'll cut some out and see what it looks like. I would like to do one that looks like, here is my stem, and then some very loose petals like that, and then I'm going to do some doodly do. I'm switching my markers because this one is, this pen is um, a finer one. But you have to watch because I don't know if my micron draws on my um, texture paste as well. Right? So I have that. And then let's just kind of do a stem off. And then these are all just kind of three petal flowers. And then maybe one up like this. And then I can come in with the heavier one and outline again. think I'll put some dots in the bottom of these flowers kind of like tiger lilies how's everybody doing out there the purple above looks like a roasted chicken yeah here's the leg <laughs> right here's the leg and there's the body and the neck are you hungry it's funny when you start seeing the food and the art right Very fun, right? So let's do something else now. What other shape can we do? I'm going to do kind of a looser petal one like this. So four petals and then I'll build on it. Four petal, four petal. And then let's do a little bit of doodly do because these petals, I'm going to go kind of up like that and up like that and like that and that. Um, I find this is probably the, oh, I love this one already. It's probably um, my favorite so far. And I'm just going to draw into like it's layered petals on petals. And then let's do a bunch of circles in the middle for the center.
So who out there is surprised with what they're drawing? Who out there is terrified with what they made and is giving up on me? I don't want you to give up, okay? Because when we cut them out, you're going to see what I'm talking about. When we cut them out, it's going to be fun. Let's do another one of these ones too. That circle. Because they're going to be hard to cut out, but I want to get a bunch of these to fill my bouquet. So I'm going to go to another page and we'll just keep going. So remember this one I painted with intention. So let's draw on this one that already looks kind of like a flower. So this we're going to make the center of the flower. And then I'm going to make my petals like that kind of come with the point. See, kind of come to a point. And then we'll still go in and loosely do outer lines because I find that that makes it less or more forgiving. That's what I was trying to say. I need to be more conscious when I'm going in with my line. I'm not going into the center of the flower. I love it. It's 10 o'clock and time for bed. Good night, my friend. So um, I'm going to draw a couple more. I have 32 flowers to cut out. Cut out. I love it. And when you're watching that cute little boy of yours um, or watching some cartoons or TV, just then sit and cut out your flowers, right? So let's draw our petals out of this. See, when you can kind of bring it to life, because like I wasn't loving this one, but now it's going to be one of my favorites. And then make this. Right. And with intention, go in and doodle over these things. And then let's kind of put some bumps on this flower. I'm going to put some bumps on this flower. And maybe some dots in there. Maybe some little crosshatch lines. Oh, I kind of wish I would have done the crosshatch lines. Before I started kind of liking it. I don't like what I did in the center there, so I'll go in now with my darker. Um, and just do more. When you put it in with the other ones too, it will be fine. Right? And if I just really kind of come in there again. And then I can still go in and add some more yellow. I don't like what I did on the middle, but it's all good, right? Not everyone is going to be a winner.
but they're going to be really pretty when they cut them out. Which one do you cut? This you like this one? I don't like the middle. But you know what I could do? Is I could draw another center and cover that or maybe add some pigment. Like I could make this um a little bit deeper so it's not all the same color and I might like it better. I can't wait to see what you guys are making though because this always when we do this kind of loose doodly do flowers i'm always amazed by what you create so i am very much looking forward to what you guys are making and some of these are very flat so i think once we make them into actual flowers and add some more pigment into them that it could be really fun But I love the idea, right, of our um, neon fluorescent flowers. Because there is certainly something to be said with the fluorescence. And when we layer these, we'll make the whole world of a difference too. What happened? What's terrible? What happened to Penny? My husband got scammed out of $3,000 today. Bank account empty. So no class for me anytime soon. They got my first paycheck after 15 months out of work. How did that happen? How did that even happen? And make sure you message me. Because if you have your gel plate stuff, you can come and play with us. You just message me after. I'm sorry, Penny. That's terrible. People need to um, get jobs and stop doing that kind of stuff. It's That's horrible. Um, not loving some of these. I'm going a little too crazy. I got to rein it in. Love this one. Don't love any of the other ones on the page. I'll make them work because I know already what I can do is I'll put a different scent center on them but some of them are kind of ugly <laughs> what are you doing vicky with your ugly flowers so i'm not gonna fill the centers i think that's where i was getting a little crazy i'm so sorry penny though but you message me i don't understand why people do these things but I know, too, is I've had tons of fraud on my visa. Um, like, I think I've had to uh, cancel my credit card a couple times this year. Right? A couple of times this year, I've had to cancel my credit card because of people putting in whatever they do. Like I had fraud on my card like a number of times. But now the credit card company is so concerned with everything being fraud that I'll have like regular um, orders that I'm placing that they're like, um, it wouldn't go through. Your card, um, your credit card company denied the order like with the new stencils. 
I um, put my order in and paid for it. And then they, um, I have to call Visa tomorrow because they um, denied the, <laughs> the order. He called me back and went, eh, put it through, but it didn't work. I'm like I will get on the phone tomorrow. But yeah, you definitely get in touch with me and we'll figure something out for you. So I like this style of flower. I'm going to do that kind of circle-y, crisscross-y thing again. Go in with this one because it's finer. We still have to do our doodly do. So I am going to do cut one or two of these out so you can see what they look like and you know what you need to continue on with, right? I love this one. That is not okay. Yeah, you have to, and there are tons of scams. The, one of the new ones that I've been getting is from Norton. Like I keep getting, um, saying, thank you for your Norton payment, or can you confirm this? So, you know, like for people who are just good and honest, like, and he, your husband was just being good and honest, like thinking, oh, I've got to get on that. You know, I've got to watch. It makes me furious with those people is get a job. Why would you scam people who are just working hard and trying to get by? Makes me furious. So I, and I hope your husband, I bet you he's like so upset too. And I don't want him to be, he's just a good, honest person, right? Yeah, it makes me furious. So I'm going to continue. I like this pillow flower. I'm going to call that a pillow flower. So I'm going to make a smaller one. So we can have a bouquet of pillow flowers. So what are we doing? This one has five. Five. That one has six. I'm kind of digging the five. One, two, three. Four, Look at, you never see me this quiet. I'm concentrating. I'm gonna do some more of these. Oh my goodness. And is there anything that you can do, Penny? Like, is there anything that you can do? Like, I don't even know. Like, how do you come back from that? Like, can you fight that? Can they track it? So just see when I'm doing these circles, I'm doing them on or lines kind of on an angle because it makes the center look like it's elevated and then just some little flicks I have to say this one our pillow flower is a favorite really digging that so let's go in I'm gonna do another one of these ones because I ruined it 
and see if we can't elevate that one, make it better. Because I like, what are these ones called? What is this flower? Not kind of like a lazy, not a lazy Susan. What is those Susan's called, right? And then, um, cause it's after 10, um, I will, I forget what this is. These ones are called. Black Eyed Susan, is it? But they don't go, what are the ones that go with, like, with this? Um, Coneflower, thank you, right? So let's see if I can uh, redeem my Coneflower. So I'm gonna do like this. But now it's gonna look like a cornflower. <laughs> Make it like cobble corn here, but I'm all right with that. But we'll still do our doodly do, right? Yeah, I'm sorry, Penny. That is, I hope you feel a little better coming to your community here. Um, yeah, I don't understand people. It makes me furious. Get a job, make your own money, don't steal from hardworking people. But I would like to think karma, right? I would really like to believe, I like this one. So look at, redeemed myself with my kind of cone. <laughs> it looks like a cob of corn. but we will just go with it and then stop. But I like that one. We'll do something on the purple. I'm going to sketch on that one. I have one page left, which is a little bit, but um, liking these, right? Little beehive, little corn on the cob flower. Um, Let's do something a little daisy-ish. So we'll do an outer circle and an inner circle and another circle. And then I'm going to come in like that. So instead of pointed flower, and we'll do like this. Trying to make the petals. So we'll do one here. One here. And one here. And then let's go in. And go in. I hope you guys are out there drawing some of these doodly doos because I think that you're going to find that it's going to be very fun when we cut these out and we can make cards with them. Is Dawn still here or did you leave Dawn? Because she draws stamps for her stamp company. I would think that Dawn is making some beautiful doodly doos. And I'm going to do kind of a dot up these petals.
Uh, Lisa, you haven't missed anything. There's no stencil bundle yet. I started adding them, but I ran out of time to get everything up on the website. So um, the, all the stencils will be added tomorrow. Okay, friends, so look at what we have. A whole bunch of different flowers that we can cut out. I'm going to add color. The scale of everything I've done is about the same size. So I'm definitely going to come in and do some smaller ones. Like um, we could just do something that looks like a bunch of circles. And when we drop the paint on them, cut them out kind of like loose circles. Right? The other thing that we didn't do, let's do one here. I'm going to do one here. Um, cut them out though, Irene, right? And yes, the lessons are recorded. So if you can't uh, watch it, or if you can't, um, I'm reading and talking at the same time, which is always problematic. If you can't watch live, you can always come back. So I'm going to do loose like this. This is going to be like, say we take a circle and then we can do a flower that is kind of the circles are orbiting. Right? And then I will do Remember, turn, because some of it can get a little hard. And if some of you are watching for the first time, welcome. And you might be looking and going, oh my goodness, these are a hot mess. You'll see when they're cut out and we make art out of them, that you will be surprised what these look like when you take them from the background, cut them out, and make art with them and we can add stems separately you don't have to draw them on if you don't have the space but i will do two of these that stem is all wonk and you know what else i didn't do i'm going to do one like this too so i'm going to draw what looks like a stem and then I'm going to go like this Some of those can be cut out and just make a uh, filler. I don't know what that thing turned to, supposed to be. Sorry if this has already been covered. I had to leave for a bit. Can we stamp with archival ink over the pretty background, if not comfortable drawing? 100%. Um, the purple looks like it would be great for peony, for example. Is that cheating? Uh, no, it's not at all, Christine. 100% can do whatever you like right? Whatever you like. You could stamp on this. You could doodle. 
you can do whatever you like. There's no um, right or wrong, right? I would like you to try um, to doodle a couple because you might be surprised. Here's the best thing, because this is not the first time that we've done like a version of this. We've drawn whole backgrounds. And one of the best things that has come out of it is so many people going, okay, it looked like fun. So I thought, what do I got to lose? I'm going to try it and ended up doing it. And we're shocked with what they ended up with. So there again, how I just said to you, it's fine. You can totally stamp on it, but still try to doodle some too and see if you like what you end up getting. You might be surprised like that. Sometimes some of the best results you get are going right outside your comfort zone. But with that being said, you most certainly can um, stamp on it if you want. Okay. I don't want you that I'm like, sure you can. And then said, but make sure you doodle too. I just want you to know that... Um, you do whatever makes you happy. And that's totally fine. Uh, you were so glad you tried, right, Jen? Um, it is like you, I remember when we did the whole background that we drew and we had so many people are like, um, I ended up trying it and I actually love what I ended up with and I wasn't going to do it. And I just love that. Like that to me is the best um, gift from doing these is when people realize that yes they can make the art they can do the things so um like i said you do whatever makes you happy stamp on some but still take a page that maybe um the paint isn't your favorite background and draw in them and see if you end up liking what you get might be surprised right and i will still go in here and add some stuff in these backgrounds because some of them are a little flat, right? It's all the same um, shade of purple. I might go in here and add, that's an alien flower. Some different, um, some different colors in there. I have a hard time stopping sometimes. Remember, I just said that I was going to be done and then I couldn't, I can't stop. I'm going to do another one like that. I'm just kind of following. This was very um, watercolory. So I want these petals to look kind of delicate. And then I will come back and draw my doodly doos. leaves yes i'm gonna do a page of leaves as well here we'll draw a couple leaves here um that i can still add color to let me finish this guy so i'm going to do some of them thicken up the lines as well Yeah, because we'll need the leaves, right, when we um, go to um,
make our um, bouquets. And there's stuff like I would, because I could just sit here and just keep drawing. And then I feel like thickening some of these lines up, adding a little bit of shadow. Like I said, I draw pretty loose and messy when I'm doing it on the live because I feel um, the pressure, right? That I can't sit here and just um, get really super sketchy and take my time because it's like watching paint dry. I don't know if that would be an enjoyable thing. I laugh. My son is on his video game upstairs and he is two floors above me and I can hear him yelling. <laughs> You'll be all up all night anyway. So keep on drawing. Why are you going to be up all night? Yeah, because I would get um, very sketchy in here because I feel like I will have to do that on some of these, deepen up those lines. But then once you start doing it, you have to make sure the weight of your lines will match. We could yet, like I said, I could be here for a while. But I like that one. Very fun. So, and then you see all the leaf, the line weight is all the same in here. So we'll have to work on that as well. My husband, is anybody's significant other a golfer out there or are you a golfer so rich is like on some kind of crazy golf um days he's played he played wednesday he was out yesterday he was out this morning and he is going tomorrow <laughs> and he is going on Sunday. So I'm sure when I go upstairs, he will be sleeping because he will uh, be tired from being in all that fresh air and all the exertion. And I'm going to be getting up, getting those things on the website. And then also, kidding. Not kidding, packing. I don't have anything to kit. But I will be getting the stencils up. And yes, some of you guys asked. There will be um, the stencil packs, like the grouping of all 10 stencils. And then individual with my designs and then some of the designs that I had ordered. Oh, I love how this one's coming together. And that's why when you just slow down and start doodling here, I think this is my husband coming down now, probably coming to say, I'm going to sleep. But I don't have to get up as early as he does. Not that I won't, because as soon as he gets up, it will make me get up. I love that one. See, just putting those little dots on there. A sweet pea. I don't know what it looks like, though. Is that what you're saying looks like? Um, any chance we can get a heads up about the pricing for the stencils? Uh, I guess I'll say it again, Lisa, because you, maybe you didn't get here. $7.99, and they're 6 by 9s and that's Canadian. And um, it's cheaper than the ones I was looking at online because a lot of the uh, six by nines I saw from and this U.S. pricing, eight dollars U.S., twelve ninety nine U.S. So I just tried to price them uh, less than a little less than what's out there because you guys are so good to me, right? No, you don't ever apologize. Um, I was trying to in my head rem remember, and then I'm going to do. If you buy all 10, you get one for free. 
because I think that'll be good, right? If you do all 10, you get one for free. I just have to do the math because I can't do that math in my head quickly. So I'm going to go in and you're going to find right now with stuff like this, I'll do one so you can see. Let's pick one I'm not loving. So I'm going to paint one on here. And then um, this one, I'm going to show you how we can start to bring it to life. And then um, leaves. So yes, go through and you can just do some leaves so that you have something to add to these flowers later. Right, so we can just do some loose leaves. We can do some different, uh, some different stems. So I will share all of it and we'll probably maybe cut out together. So that gives some people chance to, I don't know, we'll have to figure it out, right? Because you know, I always end up where, um, I am, I, there's no time to do anything, but yes, that's how I worked the pricing out is that I went and looked to see, uh, obviously like also what my costs were and then just price them so that, um, uh, that orange was tough, wasn't it? So that the pricing, um, was equivalent or fair with a little bit less than what's out there. My husband's like, that's not how you do. Um, that's not how business works, Vicki. I'm like, whatever. People are my friends. I want everybody to buy all of them because I think they'll be fun with a gel plate. So um, I think that will be fun. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to paint some yellow. Oh, whoop. Too wet. And now we'll see, right? Let's see. I don't know if this pen, I might have to be very careful. I don't know if it is water. So I'll just tap my color in around because I don't think it's waterproof. <laughs> so I don't want to make mud. So I'm just throwing some yellow in the center. I could get my pencil crayons out, right? Or colored pencils in Canada, right? They're my pencil crayons. But um, look at that's helping, right? Just start to color some life into this so that it has a little bit of interest. So I'm just throwing a little yellow on the tips of the petals. And so we still make it look artsy. I'm going to tap. It's not diluted enough. So I'll we'll come off my brush. Some yellow on there. See, look. It's not waterproof. So I'll go in with something else. See what happens with my taps. We're starting to make the uh, petals run. So I won't get crazy in that. I'll just tap it out. But I like that. It's not as flat now. But I have to be careful. So I'll be careful. I can deepen this up with a pencil crayon. Let's see. I have one handy. I don't know if they're down here or not or upstairs in my other craft room in my scrap house. What do we have? Oh, look. Let's grab this and I'll show you things that you can do that can be fun. So let's pull a purple. Look at this brand new. I bought this when I was in Switzerland. Right, so we could take it and just add a little bit of depth at the base of these petals. And I'm just gonna go in like this, right? 
and you go in and you can blend with another go over it with a little bit lighter color let's see oh i like the softness of the colored pencils over top of that kind of mixed media so let's go in maybe with this little bit of and kind of scumble just kind of in little circular blend So I'm not going to put, I like that the petals look kind of white to the ends. So I'm just kind of adding some depth just at the base of the flower, right? So just little circles, kind of sketch with little circles. And then this is creating some depth in our flower. Practice, practice, it's worth it. And I'll show you, I'll hold this one up and you can see. So little circles. So coloring kind of little circles so you don't have lines. And deep in here, cause that's where it would be dark in the bottom of the flower. colored a little right and I'm going in here with my colored pencils as opposed to paint remember because my I didn't test this crayon or this pen and it was not water soluble see and I'm gonna leave it I'm gonna leave it but we could add a little green at the base so um, and you want to invest in good colored pencils like I have a huge set upstairs um, I love colored pencils pencil crayons whatever you call them and I'm only putting hints of right because I like kind of the loose artsy feel of this but now this has kind of right and let's go in and color some of these little circles And then maybe the base of my petals are going to have some green in it. And look at I'm going very loose. And the better quality pencil crayon, like these are soft and lovely. And when we were in Switzerland, they were like dirt cheap at the airport. That's where I bought these. And the only reason I was in Switzerland is because I travel teach right you guys could come save your pennies and i will find and post different things that you guys could come and partake in all in different price values but we had gone to italy and we there was a baggage handler um strike <laughs> at the airport so we had to stay in guys one of you somebody lived in switzerland where did i tell you we stayed that was kind of impromptu and um i was able to buy these pencils colored pencils for like next to nothing at the airport but i have to say they are fabulous but i'm not gonna because i could sit here friends and color and draw and do all of this forever and look at it is 10 38 but I will deepen some different things up. What I was going to show you something. What was I going to show you? Oh, adding color, right? So you could go totally loose now. Let's test it and see. I'm going to put just water Oop. and see if. So this was with the Micron and we're fine to add water. So we can go in and let's make these guys yellow. So I'm going to go in with the deeper yellow to start. This one, I don't think the lid was on very well. Yes, and Libby, I wasn't meant to go to Switzerland, right? We just had our layover there and then we were supposed to leave. But when they decided to shut the airport because they just went on strike, um, we ended up, look at just loose. 
loose. We can still do our drips and taps on here. Right? Drips. Tap some color. Yeah, we weren't meant to go there. And it ended up being a, the best side trip ever. I'm going to drop some more of this yellow around because I like it. Let's kind of see if we can make it go in the center of that one. And tap it in. And then we'll decide later what other color we can totally add some pinks in. Or just leave it like that and flick some paint dots on here. Yeah, I still have a couple hours of work. You know what's going to happen tonight, Nat, is I'm going to go to bed and get up early. Because I worry that I can make mistakes if I um, go on the computer at this time of night. So what I will do is go to bed and when Rich gets up to go to golf I will get up and uh, do the computer work see guys so this is the idea I need to go back and add more color to the flowers for sure Dora and then the whole idea right we're gonna cut these guys out look at I'm gonna cut this one out because I love it that's my favorite well that one and these ones I gotta let that dry um, which ones? Where were my pillow flowers? These ones. I love them. I love those. We'll make a card with those. Okay. For my card makers, I will cut these out. We'll make a card with that. So clean up your stuff. Make sure all the lids are on your mediums and let's cut one out just so you see when you take it out of context, how pretty it's going to be. All right. And we're going to like, think friends so when we do that gel plate class we're gonna do a part two to that class like this will be our first one and I can't wait to share it with you because I think I have lots of things if you enjoy where are my scissors my style that I think you will enjoy my style of gel plate printing as well we're going to get vibrant we can use all these texture paste on the gel plate as well so I don't have it on the list for you guys. Like seriously, how can Vicky not find a pair of scissors? I probably own 50 pairs of scissors, but are you like this? They wa I walk away with them and they don't, oh, here's a pair. They never make it back. But oh my goodness, um, we are going to have so much fun with that gel plate class. And then we can do um, all these backgrounds this one though, look at that was that kissing and just letting that paper sit and then look at all the dots. Like, so I want to make sure I go very tight to this flower and I'm doing something. I just decided I want some of that orange in there. So I'm going to carry that petal up like that. Let's see. So when we cut it out, we get some of that orange. Oh, I'll, I'll make sure I go and catch what Mr. Holtz is doing. Um, I probably drive him crazy when I go on. I get so excited over all the new stuff. But I didn't even know. I don't know how I missed that. I didn't see that. Did he post about it? Because I normally see those things, but I missed it. Okay. I wanted that little bit of the peachy pink in there. Um, you can use Prismacolor pencils. I own those as well. Those are the first colored pencils. Um, I just, these ones were down here. Like I said, I probably have like 12 boxes of artist grade colored pencils. I have watercolor colored pencils, water soluble ones, all of the things because I don't think, um, you ever can go oh my goodness do you see what i'm saying you can ever go wrong by investing in good quality art supplies and brushes and scissors if you're a scrapbooker um don't go cheap with your adhesive 
if you um, need a new paper trimmer, I don't think there's anything wrong with owning multiple paper trimmers. So look at what this is going to look like when you take it out of that background. And I think there's something to be said for um, varying the weight of your drawn, your drawn lines. Darken some of the areas up. This one has a little pencil crayon on there, colored pencil. I'm not cutting it out like it's surgery. I'm going very loosely and leaving a little bit. But now look, there, we've just made our own um, ephemera, a little flower ephemera. What do you think? Have you ever tried the Derwent Intense? Yes, I have those too, Lisa. I have, seriously. If I walked um, you through my um, scrap rooms, uh, you would see, let's take a, let's take one I didn't like, and then I swear I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to shut it down. I'm going to cut this out and you will see, because remember, I don't like the center of it, but you will, um, find, let's add a little bit of color on top of it and see if we can't resurrect it. Cause we're not quitters here. You can't be a quitter. You got to keep going because I find that almost everything that you make that you don't like, you can find a solution for. But you watch when I have all these cut out and I'll probably post it on Instagram because I think this is something people will like. This is like an Instagram kind of thing. Um, I'm going to add some color, right? What's that? Don't what? I didn't read past Saturday. I don't know what that was july 10th so it's not tomorrow right T new releases july 10th yeah i didn't think that i um really saw anything about it but it wouldn't be the first time i totally missed it so i'm gonna go in and um show you let's see if we could resurrect this by just adding some depth in here and i think we can so I'm going in with like a okri. I don't think there's any colors on this. And then I'm going to blend that out with a yellow. But it looks very flat. I think that's what the whole problem here is. It looks a little bit flat. And then I will cut it out. Let's go in with the yellow. I don't know. Do you ever have weird songs in your head? And I don't even know how it is in here. I don't even know who's, I can't remember who sings it. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. That's what songs in my head right now. And I can't help it. Wait a minute. I'm going to put a little orange in there. So is it tomorrow? It is Demi Lovato, right? Yeah, I don't I don't even know how that got in there. Baby. Maybe I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I don't know how it got in there, but it is my elevator music for tonight. It's a song stuck in your head. That's right. It's always in there. Hey, Vicki, I just took a peek at your Warm Wishes collection. It's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I'm very excited about it. I can't wait for that class, too. We are going to have some fun. And like I was uh, telling you guys that um, I'm going to go over this whole thing now with this kind of ochre. Um, 
that uh, I have lots of those kits. So if you're like, um, I have to wait, I'm not, I'm going to post some more closer to the class. So it will be um, a better situation. And I did just put them back up in the store as well. Just putting a little bit of that color through here. And I'll blend it out with a yellow. Wait a minute. Yeah, and the next collection will be out. They'll be sh we'll be sharing. I'll be sharing peaks of it in August, and that's exciting. I think you're gonna love it. I laugh because a lot of you are here and then I lose a lot of you because um, these lives go for 12 hours. So I need to do something to make that center have some contrast. I get to do the class. I told hubby and the kids I'm going to be invisible during that time. <laughs> yes. Right. That um, what collection is that? I can't tell you yet. I'm not allowed. There is a... Um, we're not allowed to say until we're allowed to say. So I will announce it in August. So it is not out yet. Um, I know a lot of the stores, the, the email just went out this week. So um, there will be two Lollapalooza style classes in the fall, the Christmas one, Warm Wishes, and uh, this new collection. So we have something to look forward to. Okay, I'm going to cut this out. And then I'm done for the night. I hope you guys play along though. Because um, I think you'll be surprised that you can do doodly flowers. And just stick with one style. If there's one that you're like, okay, I made that one work. I'm actually happy with how that looks. Then make 10 of them, 20 of them. And... Like I said, don't forget to change up the scale because if they're all the same size, same scale, um, it'll look a little funny. And mine are all very similar in scale. So what I will do is I will make sure that I draw a couple, like some like this, that I can then make a little smaller. I love the doodly doos. I am going to draw flowers and make some stamp sets at some point as well. I am going to, um, in addition to the stencils that I came out with, I'm going to be doing some new ones as well. Some masks. I have a lot of ideas and a lot of sketches drawn that I need to convert into. So maybe if you like the idea of this, but you would like it in a stamp set, it will be coming. But look at I don't hate that now. I do want to cut into the petal. Oh, it needs some negative space. So I'm going to cut out part of this doodly do. What do you think? It's fun, right? So there's two of my doodly do's. So see what they're going to look like when we layer them. It's going to be fun. Um, yellow is not my favorite color, but you love this, right? To just go in with some orange and um, some ochre. So imagine when we come and cut some of these out. And this, the only thing I'm going to do is a little bit of work in the center, the pillowy center. Because you could leave them, but they're a little flat, right? They just need a little bit of shading. But then some of these I'm going to leave. Like this page, I'm not. I'm going to cut them out exactly as they are with the drips and the drops. I'll draw a few more, and we'll do something fun with this as well. 
right? We could do a whole bunch of flower cards. So I think that was fun. Look at some of you guys still hanging around. I love it. And if you're watching after the fact, it'll be fun. I'm going to flip the camera around and talk to you for a minute. But I have homework to do. So now you know what I will be doing at some point this week. I will cut the rest of these out and make a couple more. Because just as long as I have enough to do a layout and to do a card. Because that's what we're doing next week, right? A layout and a card next Friday. It goes fast. I know. I could sit here, though, all night. I am that crafter, right? I could totally sit here and just make all night. But this is fun. And um, keep going. Because, like, they're pretty. It's going to be pretty, right? I love this one with the little hints of that, like, uh, pink. I never know, right? It's all backwards here. Every time I do this, too, I have this Adobe um, wants to uh, update. I say, no, Adobe. I'm not interested in what you have to update. Hi, just a second. Um, you're adding Nouveau Drops. I love it. Nouveau Drops. You could go in with some glitter. You could add some metallic. I am trying, but they aren't looking great. Keep going, Irene. Don't quit. And cut them out. And like I said, make them look scribbly. Like, go with it. Don't make them look realistic if that's not your jam. And it will still be beautiful when they're cut out, layered with pop dots. It's going to be fun. Right? No Adobe. Like, it's it pops up here. I, I'm not interested. I'm hanging out with my friends. So, um, recap. Make the flowers. Prep it all. And then next week, we will make a card and a layout out of whatever you have, just make sure you have enough, right? And again, vary your scale, like the size of the flowers. And even if you only have one color and you're doing everything in one color could be beautiful. Like we could sit and make like 50 different projects out of just this one technique. Um, but it's gonna be lots of fun. Again, if you're interested in my um, gel plate, online gel plate class, it is right now live on vickybooten.com. I will be adding my custom stencils tomorrow and a whole bunch of stencils that um, I purchased that I think will work great with that class. It, um, there is a private Facebook group that you guys can go and request to join. Make sure you have your order number with that. And we're going to have a lot of fun. It's four weeks. Uh, two different lessons at least every week, and we'll probably expand on a lot of those ideas. Um, and then this will be kind of your base, and then we'll do a part two, um, either later in the year or early next year, that we can then elevate all of the ideas and all the things we're going to learn. And I really feel like this can open the door up to me getting you guys on board with um, some more art journaling, because I feel like that's where we need to go next. That not everything has to be photo based. I think it is really good for um, your mind, body, and soul to just make mindless art. So um, I think it could be a lot of fun. But yeah, make whimsical flowers, make them look um, very realistic, whatever you want to do there. Um, I will send a newsletter out with more information. Should people that don't need shipping order online and then pick up? Um, well, you order the class, but what do you mean for the stencils, Karen? Just email me. Just email me. If it's for pickup, just email me. I did not put all of them up on the website, so um, we're good. Uh, but ooh, um, for any of the stencils, Karen, that aren't my designs that you like, order them. And then I will just do the refund when you pick up uh, if you want to pay cash. Because... Um, I only have like some of those butterfly masks and stuff. I have very few because they sold out so fast at uh, the wholesaler. So uh, yeah, maybe do that, Karen. Just order what you want. We'll work it out on Monday when I get to see you. Um, I'm so on board with the art journaling. I'm telling you. And then so the gel plate class is going to lead into art journaling. So it will be fun. And then you could turn any of that stuff into cards. I'm just telling you, gel plate printing is going to open the door for so many things. And there's not one person out there who is not going to be able to master this. 
because the stencils are where the, the hard work is already done for you. And it doesn't have to be my stencils. It can be any stencils that you can have. You have maybe you own all of Tim's stencils. They'll be perfect. Um, but you do want a couple bigger ones too, right? So that they can cover the background. What are butterfly masks? Hi, Lori from Utah. How are you doing? I'm so excited for an art journal class. 100%. You will love it. Um, let me show you what I'm talking about. Right? Because these are the ones. So this is a stencil. This is a mask. Right? When it has the outer edge. I love this one, by the way. Totally freaking love this. Um, but this is the butterfly one I'm talking about that there are not a lot of. It's in here. Some of the butterflies I might have a lot of, but some I don't. This is what I'm talking about. Are you ready? You own, I'm sure Libby, you have one or two hero uh, stencils, but look at this one. <sighs> that is everything. And your stamps, you'll want your stamps. So Libby is ahead of us because she um, has a little bit of an in with hero arts. But um, I will have... So, um, you know, all those script stamps that I have the hero one that I have up there, anything that looks like text, anything that is circle. Oh my goodness. I'm just telling you, if you like what I do, trust me, this gel plate class is going to be epic. I'm just saying we're going to have so much fun. We will start with basics and then we'll start with found objects and layering and ghost printing and getting just that right amount of paint on your on your plate to pull the best things. Um, it's going to be awesome. And then we'll talk about what we can do with all the stuff. So what do we do? Because when we're done, like when I say you need tons of paper, you're going to have a stack of prints like this. And then we're going to make stuff out of it. So it's going to be very fun. Um, Search gel plate on YouTube. You will see examples or gel plate printing on Google. Yes. So it is mono printing, meaning one print. So it's not like um, when you're, if I did block printing or if I etched and then printed like back in the day, right? Letterpress and all the things that people would do. This is that all the art we make will pull one print. Maybe sometimes you get two, but pulls one print. So it's a mono print. So um, we will put paint on a gelatin plate and then we will layer different colors. We'll do some color theory and then we'll use stencils where we add patterns, where we take patterns away, ghost print, where we put the whole thing on, let it dry and then lift it. It is awesome. You definitely need a decent size tube of white paint and I buy the Liquitex and again, Michael's, Michael's, Joann's, um, your local art stores, some scrapbook stores will carry acrylic paint, but we're only doing acrylic in this because it's a good place to start. And I don't want to um, burden you with too much information, right? I think let's master the basics and then move on to the next part. Um, can't see anywhere uh, that I did that. Please let me know what I did wrong so I don't accidentally, I missed all of that, Nicole. A friend from the group texted me to say I was tagged in a message that was about me using caps and it not being allowed. Mm, I don't know what that's about. <laughs> that in the group, I don't, we're pretty lax. The only thing that you're, I don't think is appropriate and appropriate in the group is for people who um, join my group page to sell their own products that have nothing to do with what we're doing, I delete that. Um, if it's offensive, I delete it. If you're sharing sales from um, different uh, clearance places or scrapbook stores that make it not an even playing field for all of the stores, I delete that. Um, not that I don't want you guys to find a deal, but I don't think it's fair um, if you are a store owner who is small and you can't put everything on for 50% off because you buy it in bulk, that I just try to keep make that fair. But really, I keep it, um, it's pretty easy. Like I only delete things that I don't think are appropriate or um, if it's piggybacking, 
Do you know what I'm saying? Like there's a lot of people who will join groups just for self-promotion. And I'm like all for that if you're using products, but I wouldn't go say on Tim Holt's page or Paige's page and promote all Vicky Booten. Like that's just, I, I just think that, you know, that's not fair or appropriate. So that's the only thing, right? <laughs> Who said we can't use caps? <laughs> so your patty's yelling at me. Yeah, it's pretty easy, but you know, with anything, um, you're pretty good here. Uh, I was sitting there thinking, how crazy is that? I'm so excited about it. So we're good. So have a great night and a great weekend. I will wake up in the morning. It's 11 o'clock right now. So if I just shut all the lights down, I will get up and start adding the rest of the stencils tomorrow. And the deal of um, if you, because a lot of you reached out and said you wanted all 10. Well, I want to give you a deal. So already I think the pricing is um, uh, very um, fair and appropriate. And I think that you will enjoy all of the patterns and I can't wait to kick it off. We have so much going on, right? So it's not yelling, it's excitement. I'll take it, whatever you could yell at me too. And I would take that. So thanks. I hope you guys draw the flowers, work on them, cut them out. It will be fun. You'll see, you'll see. Like I said, pick one pattern and just repeat it. Um, if it's just a circle or that kind of little rose one, um, do the things, practice. Practice makes, well, we aren't aiming for perfect, but uh, practice certainly makes the whole job a little bit easier. But have a lot of fun this weekend. And for my, all my American friends, enjoy your holiday. Um, and um, I will probably be posting pictures because I am going to take the afternoon. I think it's supposed to be nice on Sunday. So I'm going to go sit by the pool because I haven't really been outside for what feels like forever. So uh, have a great weekend, friends. And if you aren't already, make sure you come and join us because we have an awesome community on the Vicki Booten Creative Community Group page. And if you haven't already, please like and follow me um, on Facebook and thumbs up and subscribe on YouTube. And I'm here every Friday and uh, it's a great community making fun art and just having a good time together. So we'll see you guys later. Thanks, Natalie, as always, for being my sidekick. And we will see you guys later. Have a great weekend. Bye, guys.